Hello, my name is Michael Taylor, and I am the lab manager of the IM Diffraction Facility located at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. In order to determine the penetration depth of x-rays, we can go to High Score Plus and use Tools and Mac Calculator. Here we can see that we can choose whatever anode material we are using for our x-rays, such as copper, moly, cobalt, whatever. We typically use copper in the lab, so I'll stick with that. Here you can enter the chemical formula of your sample. For this example, I will assume that we have AL203 and then hit tab on the keyboard. At this point, the software calculates the molecular weight and the mass absorption coefficient. You'll also notice here in the weight percent, it might say zero, but it just assumes that it is 100% because we only have one row of items. It wouldn't really make sense for it to think it was zero or any other value than 100. If we had some sort of mixture, say I mixed together some aluminum oxide and magnesium oxide powders, I could type that in, hit tab, and then enter whatever weight percent of each I wanted say maybe I made a 50-50 mixture. I can then come down here to this button, click it, and there is the mass absorption coefficient of the sample described above. I could also change this if I wanted, maybe I have 80% there and 20% there. If I click this button again, we see this value changes based upon these new weight percentages. For this example, I'm just going to stick with aluminum oxide, so I will delete that row. I don't know if it's necessary, but I am going to change that to 100. Let's calculate penetration depth. This is the physical packing of your sample. If we assume that this aluminum oxide was a pressed powder, then chances are our packing would be somewhere around 0.5. If you have a nice, dense, solid piece of material, that will likely be higher. I can't tell you what you should put here, that all depends upon your sample. This is a good estimation for a pressed powder though. Here is the density in grams per centimeter cubed. If you know it, you can type it in here. If you aren't sure, you can click Find we see that the software found all of the aluminum oxide entries in our database. I know it has this space group, so I will click, I don't know, this one. They're all pretty similar, so it won't make a big difference which I pick. Once you have one selected, click OK. We see it show up there. The last thing we need to enter is the incident angle in degrees theta. For a goniotype experiment, this will be half whatever your 2 theta value is. This will change from the beginning of your experiment all the way through to the end of the experiment. Let's pretend that we collected data from 10 to 90 degrees 2 theta. Starting out at the very beginning of our experiment, our incident angle will be 5, which is half of 10. The mass absorption coefficient we simply get that from this previous calculation here that the software made, and this auto-populates. And we see the penetration depth down here. We have 32 microns, which will be the shallowest since it is at the very beginning of our experiment. Let's see now what will happen at the end of our experiment. By the time we reach 90 degrees 2 theta, we have reached 45 degrees theta, and our penetration depth is 260 microns. Like I said, the penetration depth will gradually change as the experiment continues from 32 microns to 260 microns. Please be aware that the penetration depth does not mean that the diffraction pattern contains information only from that depth. What we see here is that 99% of the information in our diffraction pattern comes from the volume of material that spans the surface of the sample down to the penetration depth shown in the MAC calculator, or 260 microns for our example at 90 degrees 2 theta. 68% comes from the top one-fourth of the penetration depth, 
90% comes from the top one half of the penetration depth, and 99.99% comes from the thickness spanning the surface down to double the penetration depth. What this means is that x-rays are penetrating deeper than the calculated penetration depth, but only approximately 1% of the information recorded in the diffraction pattern originates from the volume of material that spans 260 microns to 520 microns in our example. Please keep all of this in mind when thinking about the results that you get. Benjamin and I thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great day.